Welcome to Freebird Spirit YouTube channel. And it is uh, Sunday's download, uh, oh, weekly download <laughs> day um, recording. And uh, Luna has decided she wants to be a part of this. And um, <laughs> no matter what I do, uh, she said, nope, I want to be right there with you. So here she is. So she'll be a part of it today. We're going to do it a little different today anyway. Um, as I'm not going to, I did not sit in spirit and uh, receive downloads today. I am going to go, I did put up a, a posting if people had questions. So I thought we would go through some specific questions this week. Um, and then also then do the seven, the seven card spread for the week as well. Um, however, one thing did come in <laughs> um, at when I was like putting my intention out there to my, my spirit team uh, that what I was doing this week. And uh, so, and I got the word Kentucky. So something's coming down, something's coming through in Kentucky. And uh, I mean, I could, I guess I could throw cars and figure that out, but I just got the word Kentucky. So something's, something's happening in Kentucky. And I do feel it's in regards to something in the political arena. So, um, so there's that. Um, so let's get to it. And um, and then at the end, I'm going to say thank you to everybody and, and, and all that. But uh, let us look here. Um, and the questions, I pulled the questions up on the screen over here. Okay. And Raytan is asking, will Barack Obama be considered Secretary General of the United Nations? And how much authority will the future role <clears throat> in the UN and the power of the international laws and treaties have over countries? Thanks. Um, great question. And um, wouldn't that be beautiful if, if Barack did that? Um, What I'm sensing with Barack is that uh, you, you know that deep calling, uh, Rattan, um that you feel when your job's not done. Like he, uh, his 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 purpose here is not done. So I'm wondering if it is this. Um, they're showing me uh, him in you know meeting with people and discussing so I, I, so I, and i don't have context for what i'm seeing it's just that i do feel it's more of a like looking to the future what you know, uh, making change, making global change, those types of things. What can we do? Type of feel to it, and um, so I'm wondering that general, uh, the secretary general of the United Nations. Uh, let me ask specifically on that. Um, secretary of State. Um, I think it's a great possibility. I'm getting a very positive feeling on that. Um, I'm, I, I heard yes. I'm, I'm feeling positive about it. So that I think that's a potential. Um, we have free will and so forth and all that. But I do feel like that's a potential. That's very interesting. I never even thought about that. Um, now, the future role of the UN. I know that there's going to be some pushback on that. Not everybody wants like a, a it's it's gonna be a while till we have that one world feel of things. Um where you know it's all united like that. Um where they have that strength and power. Um but I it is moving that direction. The way I feel about this 
I, you know, I feel like it's, you know, it, it, it's like, I don't know, like 20 years, 20 years, maybe. Um, it, but it's, it's in, it's future, future. Um, but we are going that direction. Um, it is moving that direction, but the, you have, a, there's still a big pushback on this and, and not everybody's on board. And what they're telling me with this is it, it has very familiar, it's very similar to the whole, and I know this may sound strange to some people, but it has more, it has the feel of that galactic, that galactic, um, union or whatever it is. Let's see. I don't even have context for that, but that's what they're bringing in. So it's very similar, but, um, as soon as that starts to take place here, as far as that, that United, um, international laws and treaties over countries and, and that whole UN, that whole one world type feel, as soon as that kind of takes place, that's when you're going to see the whole, it opening up galactically as well that they'll go oh look at look at what the the baby humans are doing they're actually getting along and and creating this uh you know unity um maybe we can have them on board right and i know that's not what you asked but that's what they're showing me so that's what i'm getting on that i do i we are moving that direction and i i'm and i keep getting like 20 years but it wouldn't be nice um, for world peace. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you for that question. And then we have um, Will um, Roxanne um, is asking Will, uh, will McCarthy go to jail? Will McCarthy go to jail? It's very possible. It's very possible. And I'm going to throw a card on this one. For fun. We'll just do one card. I, I'm getting a I, I'm getting a yes on that, but that's the energy moving right now. But I don't know how they get any of these people in jail. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Um but he's withholding stuff. So um, I, he's guilty. He's guilty. So I don't know how it all works, but he's guilty. He should be going to jail. All right. Thank you for that, Roxanne. Um, Um, there's a few questions I'm skipping and come back and do at the end because um, it, it's more of a different energy. Um, so I want to stick with some of the more um, political ones here at the beginning. And then at the end, I'm going to tap into some of these other ones that are not political. They're more energy and like that, spiritual. All right, Cheryl. Uh, will Stephen Miller... Uh, the former senior policy advisor for 40. Thank you, Cheryl. For, <laughs> I knew who it was, but thank you. You never know with me. Uh, former senior policy advisor for 45. Uh, get his commupants. Commupants. I, I know what I know what you're trying to say, but I can't say. It. Okay. <clears throat> Will he get what's coming to him? Basically, Stephen Miller. You better believe it. He's on the list. It's what I just heard. You better believe it. He's on the list. Oh my gosh. Wow. I'll keep those. <laughs> just, he's, he's a coward. <laughs> yeah, he's a coward and mentally, mental coward. We'll keep those. What else do you got for us? But yes, uh, he, he, um, he's definitely in trouble. He is getting something. Um, one more shuffle here. <clears throat> yep, justice is here. He is going down, and he is definitely a target. His time is up. Okay. Yeah. 
justice because he was with the upside down king. Uh, his time is up. He is, and he is definitely a target. All right. <clears throat> All right. I was going to, I keep wanting to click on the questions so they come up on the screen, but we're not live. So I <laughs> can't do that. All right. Sterling Roses. Hi, Sterling Roses. Uh, okay. Uh, wants a, to, a read on um, 45's illegitimate, illegitimate children. Um, so. Um, illegitimate children of 45. Okay, just kind of overall. Let's see what we get. You know, I don't know. I'm getting a... a now, I, I don't know if there's more than this, but I, I'm getting a two on that, like maybe two uh, that may eventually come to the surface. I, I feel like, you know, it's one of those payoff situations where you kind of pay them and they go away, I guess, or, you're, you know. Um, there might be more than that, but I'm just saying... Too specifically, they're being they're being highlighted for some reason. Um, what's this highlight about? That they may come to the surface later. We may hear uh, they may come to the surface later. I'm hearing the word death threats and and all kinds of things. So um, they they. You know, they might have signed like, a, you know, signed something, got their payoff and then, you know, and then, but I do feel there's, there's been death threats on two, on these two, two different ones. Um, let's throw some cards on this. Get more of the story. Told you, Luna. Luna will come and go. And, uh, yeah, look at her. She's like banging into me. Luna, we're asking a question about 45's illegitimate for entertainment purposes only. For entertainment purposes only. Yeah, so, yep. Look at her. She wants to lay on top of the cards. Yep. Everything. Oop. Yep. There's, yep. Oh, okay. So uh, maybe maybe the money train has stopped and they're threatening to come out. You know what I'm saying? Maybe there was like, it's like there's withholding of money there and it's, there's some sleepless, there's grief over this. These hidden, these hidden kids, these hidden illegitimate kids for entertainment purposes only. But you can see that yeah they were you have these illegitimate kids um you have that deception going on trying to hide it you know for the future trying to hide it in the future but something's going on with it um there's some um I, and i feel like it has to do with financial and i'm wondering if that's going to cause them to, they were threatening to come forward and that's where i'm hearing death threats but I do feel like something's going to, I do feel like we, we may hear. All right. Interesting. Interesting. All right. And here we go. Thank you, Sterling, for that question. And I hope that answers what you were looking for for the rest of that question. That, all right. Um, Mountain Dancer. Here is a blast from the past. 
Will Mnuchin, the former treasurer of the U.S. See how everybody tells me who it is because I I love you. They love me. <laughs> they know that really helps. Um, uh, here's a blast from the past. Will Mnuchin, the former treasurer of USA, get his just desserts when regards to all of his dirty dealings? Is he one of the dominoes that will fall? Thanks. All right, dancer, mountain dancer. Okay. Mnuchin, the former treasurer. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yes, I, I do see him as one of the dominoes. Yeah, so he's he's taking the he's I, I heard he's taking a fall like he's taking a fall or taking one for the taking a fall. He's taking the fall. He's getting his things in order. He's getting things in order. You know when the doctor says you know you need it's time you need to get things in order. For entertainment purposes only, I'm not saying, I'm not saying death. I'm just saying in regards to this question. So, um, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Um, so... Uh, but he, they, he's always, they're always the fall guy, aren't they? The, anyways, he's a fall guy. That's kind of what I'm saying. Um, he will try to save himself. He is guilty. It's like what to believe and whistleblower in regards to his now enemy. The orange, yeah, and enemy. So uh, he's like, why? He's not to get a lesser whatever is coming down on his head. He he will whistle. He'll he'll do what he can to save himself. But it's he's he's already in it. That's why you remember when all this was happening. It's like why why in the world would these people do? They don't they know that <laughs> they're just gonna. Anyways, yeah, he will. Thank you for the question. Um, all right, Joanna uh, would like to, uh, Jonna, I'm sorry, not Joanna, Jonna, would, I would like to hear something about the energy of Putin at the moment. What is his, what is his health condition? Thanks. All right. Um, all right, let's check into Putin here. That's interesting. Like I almost, um, it's like, it's not normal. Usually when you, when I step into somebody's energy, although he's not inviting me, um, I usually, you can, all of a sudden things start, ooh, ooh, ooh. not with him. It's like, I feel, I feel there's anxiety around him. Like he's anxious um, or there's fear or some sort of, fear or anxiety, um, but you're asking about his health. It's almost like there's a cloak. Let's see if, let's see if we can get anything from the cards. Um,
Um, okay. I I do feel he's he may be like um it, it could be just something more in the lines that he's um possibly like maybe really sick maybe um we're going to hear soon something in regards to him uh in his health but um I have soon, and then this to me kind of reminds me of, um, well, you can read it. <laughs> but what did come through, which I thought was interesting, we're going to see a connection in chaos and the fall and the, and what I mean, the fall of 45. And I think in regards to that as well, um, there's this downfall there's the connection this is dirty dirty money right it's upside down in chaos and the fall of 45 and his and and putin's connection to that so it's interesting they didn't really say much about his health but they talked about that and his connection to 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 45 that's going to be coming up um And specifically about his health, you know, maybe, you know, <laughs> you know, he's still, he's, still, well, yeah, he's still here, he's still in control. Um, and uh, seeking balance. Um, he's seeking, he's still seeking stability. He's still here. Um, and yeah, he's still, still doing his thing here. Um, but that might shift soon. Might shift soon. But that's interesting. Guys, I've I've not had this before where it literally it's like a, a cloak came down on him. I'll have to revisit that at another point. Interesting. Okay, Jonna, thank you for the question. Now I want to go back up here and okay. There's a couple questions here I want to address on a whole different video. So thank you for those questions. So if I didn't answer answer your question, it's because I want to do them on a separate video. But um, Nivra uh, is asking, what kind of energy are we going into between now and May with all the astrological shifts? And what is the best way to prepare for the changes? Thank you. Thank you for the question. All right, what kind of energy are we going into between now and May? Okay, so it's going to feel a little bit more like the pressure cooker is what I'm hearing. So um, so it's important that we we kind of kind of surrender to things just are going to be happening um, and if it's out of our realm of, of control, like if we can't control it, what can we do? We can, we can, we can um, go, okay, so the, here's the situation. And instead of reacting, how can I respond best to how this is playing out instead of reacting to how it's playing out? So that'll be helpful. So don't push the river is what I got. So those are my cards. So I'm going to, since I was shown one of my cards, maybe I'll get, I'll use those cards. And um, so, a little, so again, it's as we shift, it's we are awake, we are expanding. We we came here to experience and expand, and um, this is part of it. And we we came here at this time during this part of time, and um, so that that's okay. That's okay that we're here now. Then right, and um, we can't control. 
uh, everything. We can only control what's right in here, right? And um, yeah. So, um, and I like that you, I like that uh, Niv Nivra, Nivra said something about the, the astrolog astrologica. Um, so uh, we have uh, this destiny. It's a, it's a sense of destiny. This is okay. This whole pressure cooker thing that's happening, bringing everything to the surface it's meant to do that. And, and, and so we can scrape off what's no longer uh, working for us. And, and I say that because it reminds me of um, when you make gold, um, the process is you boil, 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 and the impurities come to the surface and you scrape that off. And you look down and you're like, oh, that's so beautiful. Not yet. Some more impurities come up, boil, boil, boil. And that's kind of what's happening. And they've told me this for the past, what, how many years now? Five six years now on YouTube, I've been saying we're, we're, we're in the process of being made, you know, gold, you know, this stuff coming up and it's no longer able to be under the carpet in your personal life. And, and you're seeing it play out globally as well. So we're going to see some more of that between now and May, but this is okay. This is destiny. This is the direction we are on the right path. And this is expansion. This is all about the expansion. So um, she's sitting on the cards. Can I have this one? Oh, now she's going to bite me because she doesn't want me to have the card. <laughs> um, and this is progress and movement. Um, and connect with your energy. Connect in with, with your energy and how you're doing this. Okay. And the man card came in. So there's there's mass we're there's progress in this masculine energy as far as um and what i mean by that is is um healthy masculine energy okay and then the outcome here is grateful and hugging you hugging you is that connection and connecting in with others so but i do i do feel a little of that but it's all okay it's good it's a good thing guys but if it's not, again, what I'm hearing, if it's not in your realm of control, don't re it, there's no reason to react or try to control. Um, respond. Respond to it. But no need to re react. It's a whole different thing, right? And I'm going to pull a card here for us in regards to that question. And then we're going to do the seven day. So this one, I feel like went a little bit longer than normal. And I apologize for that because I really want to keep these short. But we had we had some great questions, right? And so if I didn't read your question, I'm going to come back to those on a different video that um, would fit in a different type of video. Okay, so I got the panda bear for us in regards to the energy between now and May. And uh, balance, bringing in that balance. Yeah. Uh, ask how to bring balance into the situation and into your heart. And that's exactly, uh, instead of reacting, you know, respond. And in and, and, and that way, you can bring that balance in of um, the, from a different space of than just that reaction to it, right? All right. So now uh, it's totally in the way, but I'm going to go ahead and jump right into that seven-day so the next seven days, no matter what, when you start this, um, it'll be, so whenever you're watching this, um, either if, you, if you're if you in this week and you want to look back on the week, that's okay too. But you can also go into the next seven days after watching this video. All right. Next seven days. Thank you. Here we go. I have to do it over here because she's sitting in my normal spot. <laughs> Luna, Luna, Luna. Okay. Interesting. Beautiful, 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 beautiful cards. And 
I do a little layer on this so we can get more of the energy over the next seven days. Okay. And now she's getting on my lap. Wow. Interesting. Interesting. All right. Good, good, good. Oh. Okay. All right. So we have for Monday, we have um, the child and the owl. So the owl is coming in and it's, um, it talks about your sight. Now, I love owl energy, just amazing. Wow. And um, again, it's so funny because it's, I feel like we're still talking about Nervras, Nivras, I'm sorry, I'm butchering your name. I'm so sorry. A uh, question in regards to the energy between now and May, but it continues on. It's the same thing. Oh gosh, she just literally pushed, she's pushing off the cards. That's what we're into. That's what we're in for this next week. <laughs> Detach your emotions from situations that you cannot control. Isn't that what uh, my spirit team just brought in? So that's something that we're we're going to build up and we're going to continue to learn about. But the owl energy is bringing that in. It's detach from your emotions from situations that you cannot control. And um, taking these, take small steps. This is a this is small, it's it's learning to have some fun, wonder about it. But um, if it's not in your control, um, yeah. So that's, that's the first day. So Monday or the first day. Um, sight, okay. And then we go into Tuesday or the second day. And we have butterfly emerging. Take that leap of faith and I am enough. I love this. So this, this is an empowering day for you. You are emerging. You are coming forth on this day. So whatever, whatever happened on Monday that was kind of out of your control and that's okay. Just it's okay. Have faith, take little small steps. It's emerging the next day. Something is coming forth on Tuesday or the second day. Okay. You are an ally. Like you have what it takes, whatever this is. And it's, the, it's have faith. Okay. The third day we have the dragon and that's Gaia's gateway access to earth's inner wisdom and the fish. And that's abundance. That's freedom. That's movement. Um, that's go with the flow. That's seeking fulfillment. So the dragon energy coming in for you, tapping, uh, grounding in and, and the force of Gaia and that wisdom and understanding and, um, but abundance is yours on that day. Uh, but really connect in uh, uh, with Gaia there. That dragon energy is powerful. It's making my ears. Oof. Um, and so that's, that's on Wednesday or the third day. go within you have you have that um go within you have that wisdom there you have that inner wisdom um and uh that and fulfillment go within all right thursday we have the penguin um diamond light activation Light activations and new energies are coming your way. Be open to receive and welcome them in. So there's some beautiful energy, new energy coming in your way on Thursday. And um, now for those of you who, <laughs> there there may be some of you who are hoping for a relationship to come in or something or to hear from someone that might happen. Do you have the man here? 
So if you've been, but what I'm hearing also, you've been manifesting something, doesn't have to be a person or a man, but you've been manifesting something. It, it um, There's just a good opportunity for something to come in like that, whatever that activation. You also, um, it's a good day to activate. Um, you're coming from your inner soul self and connecting in and activating that stronger, your, your crown chakra, your third eye something's expanding for you on thursday all right so then friday I gotta pick up the cards she she decided to throw all the way around so friday we have ladybird all of your manifest all your manifesting and positive thoughts and visualizations have been heard ladybird and it's it there's a, a um a trust in this opening, trust in this, what's be playful, creative. This is very creative energy for, for Friday. And, um, and uh, what you've been manifesting will, again, you're going to step into creative, create the creativity of it. All right. And so let's see, Saturday, for the sixth day, we have elephant energy coming in. That's that grounding. Ground your energies and, and emotions deep into the earth. So it's a good day. And then I have the tree. And that's that life's force. That's spirit. That's grounding. Um, um, and uh, yeah, strength and grounding. So two grounding cards for Friday. So um, really important to spend some time. Uh, we might, maybe it's an opportunity because you've been all up in your head and uh, just all up in the space and, and this and, uh, and like that. And it's, it's time to ground in and um, yeah. I just keep hearing um, it's important to stop and breathe. Pay attention to your life force. Take care of yourself. Uh, bring some love there. And um, and it's a good day for family as well. Stay home. Hang out with the fam. Um, even if the, if the family's this, like me, got her, right? Um, or if, if, you're connect, if your network is, uh, you know, online. Um, hanging out on um, with the family. <laughs> wow, the energy is strong right now because I keep getting the air things going on, the energy in here. Woo. Um, even if it's hanging out with the family here in, in, in the community here, whatever it is, just hang out and, and, and yeah, ground in there. That's Saturday. Uh, Sunday, we have leaf cutter ant and fox. All right. So the leaf cutter ant is bringing in um, su support and uh, acknowledging you're not alone. Um, know that we are all connected. The ants communicate with each other. Um, we don't, <laughs> she's knocking the cards off again. Um, uh, we we also are communicating with each other. Uh, we just haven't remembered how to do that. Not everybody's remembered that we are doing. We can do that, and we we <laughs> so. But anyways, um, just know that you're not alone. There is support out there, even if it's reaching out into this community or the community around you. Um, be resourceful and um, and uh, yeah, be resourceful and clever. Whatever situation is happening on Sunday, um, it's calling for discernment and um, and caution, but also to be resourceful and reach out and ask, and you're not alone. So that's Sunday. Um, I think she likes knocking that stuff down. And um, 
And other than that, uh, I feel, let's see, anything coming in that our, my spirit team wants to bring for us? Hmm. Remember who you are. Remember the power in which um, you're powerful. Now, I use that word, and it, it's not really the word I'm looking for, but it's the only word that works. Um, know your inner being and remember who you are. Um, and as you remember, uh, as you continue to remember and expand and awaken into that um that's again the only words i have for this um you will you will not feel alone and, and you will all and you will feel that love you will be in that space of balance even if it's just for a moment right and it just feels good And, uh, yeah, remember how super you are. All right. Well, blessings to you. Thank you for hanging out. And I want to say there's, I don't know, she might have knocked it over. <laughs> I want to say thank you uh, to everyone for hanging out. And I apologize. We did go over a little longer than I normally do on these. But um, thank you to all the subscribers. Thank you to um, all, all the support you give me. And thank you to all the members. Oh, my gosh. Um, love our membership time. And uh, we do meet on Zoom on, on Fridays together. So it's always um, just always such a comforting, caring space um, to do life together, right? Thank you to all who donate to this channel. Um, keeping it going, allowing me to do this. So blessings to you as well. Giving uh, everybody a big group hug. And we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.